Welcome back to Learn BC. Please like, share, or subscribe, or all of the above. We're talking about item charges and their relevant posting groups. So the journey we've been on is understanding the crazy posting setup of Business Central. We're going to focus on charge items, okay, or item charges. So to do that, let's go into Business Central. In Business Central, I've searched item charges. Now, this is a little bit different. Usually with the customer or vendor and item um, resources, they've got a card. This does not have a card. This is the list. And if you want to edit the posting groups, you can see here in the table itself, we can see we've got the general product posting group. We've got the general GST product posting group, or for those who use VAT, it will be the VAT posting group. Okay, let's minimize and let's look at what this means. So as we create our document, we've got a charge item on the line. And as we go to post, it engages the tax setup and the general posting setup. So going through this again, I'm hoping by the end of this series, you will feel confident by me reiterating this content. <laughs> It may seem like regurgitating, but it's actually good for you. So let's go through it again. The general posting setup is triggered by the general product posting groups with the customer or vendors, vendors general business posting group. Okay. And the tax product posting group triggers the tax posting setup, which is matched with the vendor or customers tax posting groups. And that's really it. When you've got a charge item on a line, how to determine how it behaves with where it sits on a revenue basis comes down to the general product posting group and how it sits on a taxation basis sits with the tax product posting groups when they hit their matrixes. So as always, like, share, contact us, send us feedback. Any questions, requests, reach out. Cheers.